Hey guys, I want to talk about customer experience uh, through the context of selling art and photography as an artist or photographer. The main point that I want to talk about here is, and I want to make sure everybody really understands this, is that your trump card on everyone in the industry, all the gatekeepers, all the the you know the rent seekers that are on the marketplaces or the art galleries and all those all those places your trump card is the customer experience right and so when i go to art.com or i go to like fine art america it is the coldest experience in buying art that you could possibly have why because there's literally millions of images from who knows what artists and photographers and Anybody can upload and you got low quality up to high quality, whatever, right? But there's no experience whatsoever. It's like a production factory just by the art, you know, and it's a race to the bottom in terms of competition and price, right? So that is literally the exact opposite of what you should be doing in terms of an experience, right? And so you got to be careful to not follow what they're doing in some ways uh, in terms of like marketing and you also need to make sure that you're not following just traditional businesses that are out there that aren't offering an experience, right? And so let's talk about that experience for a second. So what can you do or what should you be doing or how should you be thinking about the experience? Me as an art consumer, I want to buy from you, right? I always say this, but if I could buy music from a band directly, like I will always do it. And so I believe in the end that people will be buying music directly from bands. That's the way it's going to work because that is the experience we all want. We don't want to hear about these stories about how the record labels are making all this money from the musicians and the musicians never make any money. And that's a very true story, right? You have to sell like a gazillion albums. You know, there's some story like you sell a million albums and like you, you know, the four band members can barely even like afford their rent yet they've sold a million albums and they're totally famous. It's just insane, right? So in the same at in the same token, you know, people want to buy art directly from you. Me speaking as an art consumer, I want to do that. And so your job is to provide the best experience you can, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to think about how you can be how can you be completely different from the art buying experience that's delivered on an art.com or a fine art America or any other site or any other gallery that exists, right? Well, it's the element of you, right? So when somebody signs up for your email list, do you send them, you know, an email back saying, thanks for signing up, right? I'm glad to have you here. Hey, what do you like about my, like X, my subject matter? Um, you know, uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions anytime about da da da. I mean, there's just think that through, right? You can provide an, a better experience there. You can't get that on any, any of those art websites. It'll never ever happen, right? That's why it's your trump card. Okay, so then, um, when when somebody has an unsold cart, I sometimes see people asking like, "Hey, I want to get unsold cart automation. I want to get unsold cart automation." And I sit there and I go, "You know, hold on a second. Like, you know." I know you only have five unsold carts in the last month. So it's not like you've got like 50, right? And I've had companies that have 50 unsold carts and they're non-experiential types of products and automation can help. Although I think that I think that the abandoned cart thing is way overplayed these days. In fact, we don't even do it at one of my other companies anymore because it just becomes obvious. You know, the customers just start expecting like, hey, all I have to do is add something to my cart and three days later, I'm going to get a coupon, right? So it's not really the, the best strategy to be honest. But what could you do instead of that? Why don't you email that person a personal email from your Gmail account so it's real, you know, or your, you know, uh, your domain email account and say, Hey, I saw you were looking at this piece. That's one of my favorites because of this and this and this, you know, um, I'd love to see if I'd be happy to answer any questions about it or, you know, um, talk to you on the phone about it or, you know, uh, or here's a coupon for it. I mean, you can do it any way you want, but you could provide an experience there. Okay. Um, you could ask like, Hey, were you thinking about this for a gift or something like that? And then if they actually talk about it, you could be like, Hey, why don't, if you buy it, I'll give you a, a hand sign, a hand painted little note that's, you know, to your spouse, you know, I mean, there's, 
there's a way to turn this into something amazing. And then after you get the order from anybody, um, you could send them a thank you note in the mail. Uh, you could send them a thank you email and you could do the exact same thing, right? Or a similar thing. Now there's an artist, uh, uh, a famous artist named Wyland, W Y L A N D. He wrote a book called, um, don't be a starving artist. And it's definitely worth checking out. And you got to pay attention to the details because there's a point in there that I thought was super interesting. And he said something like his average collector buys eight pieces from him in, in, in their lifetime average, right? So you can imagine when he gets a first order from a, from a new customer, they're expecting that person to buy more. Okay. And so that first order is just the beginning, right? So like if, when you start thinking that way, you realize what type of an experience am I going to give this customer, you know, after they place their first order, uh, to, to make sure that, you know, they love what I'm doing and me and they feel connected and they want to put my pieces all over their house or all over their business. Right. And they want to tell their friends all about me. You know, are you doing that? Are you thinking about providing that type of an experience with everyone who buys from you? Probably not. Could you be, could you do anything better? Could you brainstorm? I'm sure you can. And so when you go from like, if you look at like automation on a spectrum, if automation is over here and a personal one-on-one does not scale experiences over here. I want you to be over here. This is not an automation product that we're selling guys like selling art and photography. This is not automation. This is not automation is the biggest turnoff that you could possibly give to an art buyer, to somebody like me. Don't do it. Right. If I, if I'm going to buy like a multiple thousand dollar original or a $700 print and I get an email and I can smell cause I'm not stupid. Okay. I can smell that it's an automation email. I'm like, come on guys. Like, are you serious? You know, I'm the one guy that's got an original in my shopping cart and you sent me an automated email. I don't think so. That's, that's not right. Like I, it's just not right. So you got to think about this the right way and take your mindset out of what the whole world is doing because what you're doing is different and it's really never been done, right? We're teaching everybody how to do these things at art storefronts, but you're here to provide an experience and you want to see things through that lens. All of your social media, right? Every email you receive, the process of buying from you, the whole thing is the, is an experience, Okay. It's a reason to stay on your list. It's a reason to follow you. It's a reason to buy from you, to buy more from you later on. So I want you to view yourself when you're looking at your romance marketing and your marketing tactics as, you know, you know what I'm here to do. People are looking to get an experience in this life. They're looking to get their day brightened. They're looking to get entertained a little. They're looking to maybe get an inside look at what I'm doing to like, you know, just understand it a little better because people like us, the art consumers, we don't know how you paint. We don't know how you take photography and how you got that specific shot at that time, you know, for that one specific piece and how long, you know, it took you to get that, how many hours you were there and how far you traveled. Like that's amazing stuff to learn about your best sellers, right? Adds a ton of value, but all of that is an experience. And I think it's the experience that we are all buying. And so if you really wrap your head around that, it's going to probably change the way that you think about how you're doing your Facebook posts, how you're doing your romance emails, how you're treating people when they get on your email list, how you're treating unsold carts and how you're treating people after they order from you. Okay. So customer experience, right? Just wrap your head around that. Really think about it. Grab a yellow pad or get on your Evernote on your computer. Evernote. It's a fantastic app for note taking and note and digital notebooks. Highly recommend it. Um, and start jotting down some brainstorming ideas about each of these different, um, uh, touch points, right. And what you can do, uh, to, to add a little bit more personal, non-scalable activity. That means answer all of your comments, right? Write something thoughtful on them. Um, on when somebody comments on social media, you know, when somebody replies to an email, you, you get back to them. You don't just let that be like you say something back. So think about all of those levels and think about what you can do and start seeing things through the lens of customer experience and realizing that this is your competitive advantage that no gallery, no big website can ever take from you. And if everybody did it, if every artist was out there providing this experience, none of these other people would exist because every consumer would only want to buy from you. Remember that.